Happy learning! Today we have a few questions about the vector space of complex numbers, which we denote by C. So let B be the set 1 plus i and 1 minus i. We want to show that this set is a basis for C. And then we want to find the B coordinate vector for the complex number 2. OK, so for A, we know that the dimension of C is equal to 2. Right? We showed that in class, and it's really not hard to, to show. So we just have to show that these two complex numbers are linearly independent. Okay, And so one way we could do that is we could write their coordinate vectors with respect to the standard basis. So the first one would be 1, 1 for 1, and then the coefficient of i is also 1. And then the next one would be 1, negative 1. OK, and we could row reduce this to see if we get a 1, a leading 1 in each column. So when we row reduce this, we get, well, you could do the steps on your own, but it row reduces to the identity. OK? so. These two elements are linearly independent in C since there is a leading one in each column. So they're linearly independent, and there's two of them, and so it must be a basis for C. Since the dimension of C is 2, any two element, any linearly independent set with two elements is automatically a basis. Okay, so B is a basis. Okay, and for lowercase b, find the b coordinate vector for the number 2. Basically, we take this same matrix and write 2, 0, because uh, this is the coordinate vector for the, uh, for, for the standard basis for 2. OK, and then we would row reduce again. And what it row reduces to is the identity on the left and 1, 1 on the right. So the B coordinate for 2 is the vector 1, 1. And we know the number of entries in this vector should be equal to the dimension of the vector space that we're in, which is C, and the dimension of C is 2. OK, well, not too bad. Uh, I know a lot of these linear algebra problems recently have been variations of this same problem. So it might be a good one to know how to do for the test. All right, see you later.